I'm Laura and my project's all about bringing together young children and older adults to share experiences, have fun, learn together and build relationships. And my experience of intergenerational work early on in the project was probably more the traditional view where children would come into a care home and spend time perhaps singing or entertaining the residents. And this was something that I think really needed challenged and addressed to try and really improve the outcomes for both generations. So by applying the improvement methodology, I knew that we could have more collaboration, working together in order to really make some outcomes which were more measurable, meaningful. And it was really important that the sustainability was built in early on and decided just to focus on that one care home and one nursery um, to really focus our efforts to get the measurements right early on. We got a core team together and it was really important that everyone was represented. So we had parents of children, we had some residents from the care home, we had staff from both sides. We had to have two different outcome measures because there was two generations involved here. And the outcome measure for the older adults was around their physical activity levels because we knew that if we could increase their physical activity levels we would also be having an impact on their um, psychological well-being as well. But it was also really important that while we looked at what was getting the residents most active, we also considered the impact that that would have on the children and their learning. So for the children, we used the Leuven Wellbeing and Involvement Scales. When we came together with the data, we were realising that some of the key changes which were leading to the improvements were having a change of environment, so having um, a set activity around a table for the first half of the session, then having their snack, and then moving through into the lounge area. So other key changes which really led to improvements were working with the residents and finding out what was really important to them. So for example, Jean. Um, Jean was a very busy lady who loved cleaning up and tidying and keeping things in order. So very quickly it became obvious that she would like to do the snacks. So she would prepare the snacks with the children and then she would be in charge of handing out the snacks. And we would also get other residents to be involved in that as well. But that got her up and moving and it was showing the children that people in care homes can prepare food and drinks and hand them out and help children. Grant um, is one of the residents who is blind, so sensory activities are really important for Grant and he was really able to lead on those activities and the children really enjoyed playing in the sand. So we would have a sand pit out and Grant would be hiding animals and different things within the sand and the children would have to find it and then the children would be hiding things and helping Grant to find it. So it was about using their, their communication skills, using their language to help Grant find things. One of the most heartwarming aspects of doing intergenerational work is when you see those special connections and friendships forming and we saw many, many examples of that throughout the project but one in particular really stood out and that was me and Greg. So Greg lacked some confidence going into the care home environment and was quite shy um, until May took a wee shine to him and started interacting with him and got him involved in an activity. And ever since then, Greg always went to spend a bit of time with May and May very often spoke about him and said, where's Greg? Is Greg coming along today? And she really had a, had a wee shine for him. Greg doesn't see the... Um, doesn't see the age difference between them. He just sees me as me, and that's that's her that's his friend. Um, so one of the ideas that came through meeting as a group was about taking the residents out with the care home to the nursery and having a session in the nursery, and we found that made a huge impact on on all of our outcome measures. So that's once we had enough data and evidence to share, we brought together local care homes and nurseries to have a networking session so that we could start to talk about our learning and the things that were working really well for us and what could be spread across the partnership area. So a year down the line since starting the project, we have 14 care homes and nurseries connected and participating in regular intergenerational sessions. Um, and I think this just helps to build that more cohesive community where intergenerational practice should just be built in and part and parcel of the school community and the care home community.